This is a 2011 Ford Taurus Limited with 101 miles. So it's quite likely this car never had an owner. This is pretty much a fully loaded trim, really. All what's missing is this is the EcoBoost engine, really, and the all-wheel drive. Well, let's get down to critiquing it. Um, in the center console, it's quite firm, the lid especially. And you have some aux jack, you have USB and power. This is removable. You have a pen holder, business card holder, lip balm holder. <laughs> Armrest is quite soft. Obviously this model has Microsoft Sync, but I'm not going to make that thing talk right now. And you have the cup holders, and it seems to have ambient lighting inside. You can see like a little blue light in there, strip. You have another cup holder down below. So I assume this is where you adjust the ambient lighting. That's what it looks like. I could be mistaking. And you have more power down there. This has a six speed auto. Drop it down to M. And you have manual shift mode, which is controlled by these two paddle shifters here on the steering wheel. And you have the climate control, dual zone. There's the radio, this whole thing here. And you have the in dash. I assume six disc. Cause the truth you might be running for yeah. me, but I couldn't do it all alone. We young money raise me. Have to adjust the sounds. Let you guys get the idea. Up above you have information controls right here like the trip and distance to empty and such, hazards, traction control. Here's a trunk button, kind of an odd place, but it's there. And you have the glove compartment, books, everything is still sealed. And you have cruise control, radio controls on the steering wheel, hands-free. The dash itself is quite soft, very soft, the entire thing. That follows through down below over here. This is soft. The section over here is also soft, though it does harden up over here. The sides of the center console does harden up. The steering wheel is nice and thick down here. especially where you would traditionally grab it and it's leather wrapped and I have a nice little touch over here kinda like a black wood accent to it which also follows through over the airbag the door panel also has lots of soft to the touch materials as well up above the side here you can see the padding a little bit it's kind of hard padding but it's soft armrest is also quite soft. Down here it's kind of cheap though. Kind of like a sharp edge over here. But that's at the bottom of the door panel only. There's a memory seat. These things always had a quite decent leg room in the back seat and the seats are comfortable you have some rear AC vents and some power and here's the center armrest it's a bit on the flimsy side though this is soft though it will be a bit uncomfortable because you have this big plastic piece over here they made it bigger than it should have been and so it might be a bit uncomfortable when resting your arm a bit because a good part of it may end up being on top of it 
But uh, the materials also follow through into the back seat, so you don't get chipped or anything. This is soft. You get the wood trimming here. Just down, both, just down here, just like in the front seat, it's hard plastics there. And these have a cavernous trunk. You can see the uh, floor mats are still wrapped, never used. Spare tire in the cargo net. The seats do fold down. Let me see if I can show that. Yeah, you just pull this little strap there. So you can really do some decent cargo in this car. I assume this is for the short people. And let's take a look under the hood. You can see it has LED lights. And this is 3.5 liter V6. entry. I also forgot to mention we have uh, the light fixture up above and the home link garage door opener. It's a design. The uh, layout hasn't changed since 1995. They've been doing it the same exact way. It's basically a universal garage door opener. You'll see it in other brands as well. Let's go do an exhaust shot. 